Let's open the Terror Prime Weapons Locker. Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here, and coming to you with another weapons locker. I told you I had a couple of these in the bag. Um, been so busy lately, haven't been reviewing any of the Sabers. Um, so, we'll get on to it. So, I want to share something really special with you. This is kind of, um, it's, it's a little different. Um, this is a Saber that I actually had modified by and upgraded by uh, Darth Alice. Um, if you don't know who Darth Alice is, um, there'll be a link in the description. Um, there, He also did a video on this which gives a lot more of the technical specs, so I'll include a link to that video in the description as well. Um, <clears throat> I bought this uh, Saber Forge Redeemer um, two years ago, two, two and a half years ago, or and uh, it had fallen apart on me in various various ways and, and such like that. So I gave it over to uh, Darth Alice to um, kind of fix up, and he did an amazing job with it. Um, the first thing that he did on my request was to minimize the activation box, because if anybody out there knows anything about handling this particular design in dueling or anything, um, the activation box becomes very problematic. Um, so I had to minimize that by, by taking down his profile, um, rounding the edges, and everything like that. And I, I, I gotta say, he did such an amazing job, I can even handle it right on the activation box with no problem whatsoever. I can hold this saber by the grenade grip, which is kind of where it's supposed to be held, or best held. <clears throat> and um, it's extremely comfortable. Um, I have access to both of the buttons, which he put these nice little tack switches in um, instead of the, the uh, big kind of rocking thing over the 12 millimeter switches and such like that. Um, the weathering he did as well, and um, very, very nice. He uh, I don't know exactly what process he used, but obviously a paint and, and, and lacquer and, and all that kind of thing, and really gave this a nice wind-blown kind of uh, weathered uh, appearance um, to the to the whole saber. Especially, I'm very pleased, especially up here with um, the emitter and all of the pitting and uh, texture. That, have, that, it, that he got in there. Um, and my, my instructions were to kind of like put this together as kind of like a between, uh, you know, the uh, um, episode three and episode four. Um, <clears throat> you know, kind of in exile. So before it got really completely messed up, but still, still um, seeing some wear, wear and weathering. Um, so anyway. Uh, yeah. Now, um, it's running a, a, uh, Nigon Spark, which came with this top tier. I believe it's the, uh, is it the champion or the hero tier? I think it's the champion tier, um, at the time. Um, and an X2 LED. Um, I'll fire it up right in there. And... We got the father son. Uh, and 501st. So. so I've got two extremely loud, very, very nicely done. He definitely made this a lot uh, peppier than it was. Um, there's a little bit of clipping, but not too much. So. Now, um, obviously, it's the thin neck, the, the LED is down here, so um, you're going to get limited brightness, or you have a limited brightness. But I can put a blade in here real quick, and not even tighten it down, but uh, just 
show you what that looks like there. Um, <clears throat> so it does dim, it tends to dim right, right in there, but... Still, not, not too bad. And quite frankly, um, it, it looks and feels very much like a movie prop at this point. Now, uh, one of the things that he did, which is really awesome is he put everything on this Derlin chassis right here. So everything's really well contained. It's in here. Um, the speaker, it's just all one thing. This, this totally works as just a... So um, very cool. And what that's kind of done is it's even made the balance much more stable it's a little bit heavier but it it really i mean i i'm i'm surprised to say this but i have to tell you this this kind of uh, configuration i'm actually using it and i'll probably put out a couple of videos um actually using this thing um out there because it's it feels really really nice now um as far as the weight goes and when i've got a good blade in there the uh, the balance point is about out there, so holding it right at the grenade grip is, is, is extremely good. So there, so very very pleased with how this turned out. Um, the, the you know the repairs that he did on it are, are one thing, but the, the the way that he kind of customized it and and really styled it so well, um, I, I I cannot say enough so this is this is one of my uh, uh definitely jewel pieces here so um i will put the other video um that that he put up in the description there so check that out uh go show him some love on the ira forums darth alice he's got a, 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 a thing there he's on uh, facebook as well all of these things i'll put in the description um if you need any uh savers he does custom savers as well so you can give him um a call or uh, contact him through the links I provide down there. Okay, well, that's it for this little edition. Um, kind of a special, special little blurb, but just kind of showing off a saber here um, that I'm very, very pleased with and I'm actually really, really loving. Um, so, there. So, thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to share, subscribe. Uh, like it uh any questions ask down in the uh comments um other than that have a great day happy favorite